some new spring trends, how to style them, and some fabulous luxury dupes. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. In this video, I spoke about denim having a moment and sometimes I am completely wrong. <laughs> It's not all the time, not often, but sometimes I am wrong about predicting trends and a lot of times I am right on the nose. When I'm telling you guys, denim is having a huge moment right now. Whether you love it or hate it, these are some of the denim accessories that I have found. It's not just jean pants, it they are just everywhere. So let's get started. Let me show you some great finds. Denim is everywhere from luxury to high street to extremely, extremely cheap. Right, so in this video, I showed you some denim platforms. I should have showed you the Dolce & Gabbana iteration of a denim platform. They have these. They also have them in a flat, like slides. Dolce & Gabbana have just taken like the denim trend and have just expanded on it. It's everywhere They're in their spring like introduction, their spring line right now. Not only did Dolce & Gabbana do it, but also Valentino. You guys, look at these Valentino slingbacks in denim. It's like a gradient denim um, with the Valentino symbol and uh, I'm not a huge denim person, but something about these make me happy and giddy inside. I don't know if, if it's because of the way that it's shaped. It's shaped very feminine. Like I love a feminine pointy toe shoe. Um, I don't know if it's because of the gold on it, but these make my heart sing. <laughs> I will not be buying them. I will not be buying them. I will not be buying them. But they are fabulous. They come in, I think, two different heel heights. Um, and just YSL has made a denim stiletto. Christian Louboutin has made the Kate or the So Kate, made them in a denim version. I could just pat myself on the back because I called it, right? <laughs> I told you guys denim was having a moment. I don't think I realized how much of a moment it was actually having. Balenciaga has made a denim tote, which is really cute. Um, I mean, it's just a denim tote with Balenciaga on the front, right? But it's still cute. Um, Caperni, like in the middle, in the middle uh, contemporary section, they have made a denim uh, purse, which is really, really cute and kind of goes along with their whole style. Even this purse, which is like in the middle of the road, contemporary, also denim with a leather brown uh, lining, amazing. And if all of that is too much, because you're like, if you're like, sis, I'm not going to spend that much money on denim, totally get it. It's even in the high street. So Jeffrey Campbell, we keep talking about Jeffrey Campbell. I feel like they have really come back. Jeffrey Campbell has a denim mule, a pointy toe mule. They also have these really cute bow, bow tie denim um, mules again, a very low heel that's kind of giving me um, Bottega vibes, right? But in denim, adorable. Even stores like Ann Taylor have denim slingbacks. And if that's even still too much for you, you guys, Amazon has a ton of options. So denim, 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 and more denim. Okay, so with styling the denim trend, it is easier than you may think it is. It's a very neutral type of trend, like you know how you can wear jeans with any color. It's definitely the same thing with these accessories. I found this whole outfit at um, H&M in red and in blue. Um, it's a very kind of cool, kind of laid back outfit. And I thought that it would be really cute, particularly the red, with these platforms, whether they're whether they are the Mark Fisher platforms or the Dulce & Gabbana platforms with a denim tote, some really 
cool sunglasses and you are out the door. It's a very laid back but also elevated look um, because it's kind of oversized and of course the platforms, right? Like you try but she really didn't try that hard and it's just, that's what denim does. It really gives you a relaxed kind of feel but because they have put denim in these really dressier silhouettes, it's giving it a more elevated look. So I thought that would be a really good option and if you are the type of person um, that doesn't love to dress up so much, this denim trend is totally and completely for you. Another way to style this denim trend, which I particularly love, is with this Banana Republic jumpsuit. Now, they have it here with a brown, uh, like, fanny pack. Imagine it's not there, <laughs> right? But instead, you are wearing the Valentino pumps, the denim Valentino pumps. Oh, living, <laughs> living, they're so good. And a denim clutch or something, right? Something that makes you feel better. So if you're not a clutch girl, a tote girl is fine. I'm not necessarily the cool girl. I would definitely style it a little bit more glamorous because that's a little bit more my style. So if I were to wear this, I would more likely wear a bag that I could hold in um, the crux of my arm and like some really pretty earrings and some fabulous sunglasses, you know guys. You know how I do. Denim is so versatile. Well, it could literally be dressed up or dressed down and fit into every category um, of of style. And I love it. I really think it's a fabulous little micro trend that we are now seeing. So another micro trend trend that we are seeing is opulence, glamour, and playfulness. This is all me, and I love every single bit of this. I love a little sparkle. I love a little extraness. You guys heard me say this before. And opulence, yes. <laughs> Sign me up. We have all seen the infamous Fendi baguette bag. All the influencers have them. Sarah Jessica Parker had it in Sex in the City. She had it again in the reboot. And it's just, it's just been everywhere. I can understand. Some people think it looks cheap. <laughs> I understand how some people could think it looks like something that a child would wear. I think it's fabulous because I love a little extra. However, not only is that purse hard to get right now, it isn't cheap. So I feel like I found a fantastic, fantastic dupe. This bag is shaped slightly different. It's more square. Um, it's shorter than it is long. The Fendi baguette is a little more, uh, it's a little longer, right? This bag is called my love sequin bag and I'm dying. The color alone, if this is your thing, the color alone is fabulous. So it does come in this fuchsia color, which is very similar, very similar to the Fendi in fuchsia color. Oh, so good. Um, it also comes in silver and it comes in this multi-colored, uh, 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 multi-color option, which can be worn with more things. Now, this bag still ain't cheap, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's still not cheap. Is it cheaper than the Fendi bag? Yes. But if you're looking for another option, um, but with a more contemporary price tag, this is it. I just... I saw this and my heart skipped a beat. So we know that these type of bags, these opulent, playful, and 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 glamorous kinds of bags are still in, even for the or in, um, even for the daytime. So I found this other bag that is very opulent <laughs> and and cheaper. I think it's like a hundred dollars, much cheaper than the last bag. I don't see it as a dupe of anything, but I just see it playing into the trend of opulence, right? A lot of people shy away from this glamour because I understand during the day that's not something that a lot of people do, but again, I'm I just love it. So this is another option. It's very pretty. It could definitely be used at nighttime. It also comes in black and it just sparkles. I saw a video of it and it might have, they might have been done some, some editing to it, but it looks so pretty and so sparkly and just fabulous. Now I know this is not something that you can wear to work, like if you work in an office, but if you're going to brunch, if you're going to brunch, this is 
completely an option. I absolutely love this bag. Okay, so we have all seen the Chanel heart bag. All the influencers have them. Well, all the other influencers have them. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> but it is a very cute bag. And, and if I'm being completely honest, though, I love the bag and I think it's cute. That's definitely not something I would spend a lot of money on just because that's just, that's just not where I am right now. Now, if I had more money, probably. But where I am right now, that Chanel price tag is a little steep. But it is cute. Um, black and pink. So I did find an alternative. There are a lot of places doing heart bags of, as of right now. I know Coach uh, Coach Outlet did it a, a while ago. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I found. So they did have the Coach Outlet one. I don't know if it's still there, but I found these from Kirk Geiger. I don't have any Kirk Geiger bags, if I'm being honest. I don't want to tell you that I love them because <laughs> I don't have an experience with them. But if you are a Kirk Geiger lover, they recently came out with these heart bags and it comes in pink and I like a fuchsia and it comes in black and some different colors that um, I think could be an option if you like the heart bag. The things with the heart bag, especially the Kurt Geiger, Geiger, excuse me, as opposed to the Chanel is that it could come off kind of childish and kiddish. So the way you want to style it is very, it needs to be opposite of that because you don't want to look like a kid, right? But these are options if you were looking for the Chanel bag, don't have the Chanel money and still want to participate in the trend, I think these are cute. And kind of going with the playful trend, there's two more things I want to show you and then we can move on. Um, these feather tops are everywhere. You have them at the high street, you have them um, a little more expensive, but you also have them on Amazon. This is surely not something that, unless this is your style forever, right? This is not something that I would probably spend too much money on right now, um, even though it could be uh, a classic piece if, <laughs> if that's your style. What I mean by classic is something that will always have a place in your closet. So this might not always have a place in everyone's closet. So a lot of the times the best option for this fun, playful piece would definitely be from Amazon. Speaking of feathers, I told you guys about feathers before. This feathered sleeve shirt from J. Crew. I told you guys this before and it recently came back in stock. Again, is really cute. Not something that will always be in everyone's closet, but if you are somebody who is playful and opulent and glamorous and over the top, this definitely will be a nice little staple. It's a classic white shirt with a little twist. I, like I said, I showed you guys this before and I think it's so, so cute. And then the last piece of playfulness in this category, in this trend category, are these little bitty tiny bags. You guys saw in this video when I was telling you about my new Tory Burch little cute bag and, and it's adorable, um, but they get way smaller than that. And they could also be quite expensive. So the one from Fendi, you guys have seen, I've spoken to you about, very, very cute, but you have other options. They also have one from Chanel and there's actually a lot of options, <laughs> but you also have um, a cheaper option. So this one from Poland, I think it was like a hundred and something dollars. It's the little micro trend. I think they have three different styles. Um, if there's something that interests you, but you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, of course, Poland has you covered. And again, Kurt Geiger also has these little bitty tiny, they look like card holders, but <laughs> they're little bags. They're calling them micro bags because that's the style right now. But that's also an option. I think these are like $65. So how do you style this opulent, over the top, glamorous, playful look? If this is your style, a good way to wear these, this opulence during the day is to dress it down. So this dress from Mango, this denim dress from Mango, which is very cute. Um, it's a dress, so it's a little dressy, but it's also denim, so it's dressed down. Paired with one of the sequence bags that I showed you, right? Probably not the Brilli bag, but the Fuchsia bag or the, the iteration of the Fuchsia bag will look really good, right? With this jean dress. Very sex in the city. 
very right now, bringing a little glamour to a little bit of daytime um, wear. Now with a bag like this, you would probably want to wear it with a heel like, because it's so dressy. But because we're trying to wear it during the day, I would probably think about wearing it with sneakers. When you look at somebody like Tracy Ellis Ross, um, who wears sequins during the day very often, a lot of times she pairs it with sneakers. A lot of times it's Jordan 1s or it is the Dunks, like in different colors. And she will pair these sneakers with the sequins. And it could be like a full sequin outfit. She would pair it with sneakers so to, to bring it like more daytime appropriate. So if I were to wear this bag, I probably wouldn't wear it like fully dressed up. But if you were a sneaker girl, that's it. Just like Tracy Ellis Ross. And you can't tell me that Tracy Ellis Ross is not fabulous. And the last trend that we're going to kind of talk about very quickly is color. I've spoken at nauseam about color. And this is probably the fifth video that I spoke about that color is trending right now. And I realized that some people might have an issue or have um, kind of problems Pairing colors together because we've been wearing neutrals. Um, well, most a lot of people have been wearing neutrals for so long that they don't really know how to wear color and make it feel elevated. So I completely understand that. I was actually looking on Farfetch and I came across these beautiful satin um, stiletto with the bow in the front. And I successfully talked myself out of them hopefully <laughs> but I was looking for some alternatives I would like to have a fuchsia heel I don't have one believe it or not you guys have seen me in my fuchsia boots and I really want a fuchsia heel again Jeffrey Campbell is another like standout option here at a fraction of the price so this Jeffrey Campbell I think it's called bow or big bow I'm sure I have it on the screen bow mule stiletto is fabulous. I'm not sure about the comfort because it doesn't look comfortable. You know, you have those shoes that you walk from your house to the car, from the car to your destination, and you sit at that destination the whole time. Yes, that kind of looks like this type of shoe. Um, so I kind of skipped on those, even though I think they're fabulous. But I kind of settled on these from Zara simply because uh, I like that they're leather. Um, I like that the heel is lower so that I can wear them often. And because I got these blue pants and I love pink and blue together, and I think they will pair very well with my blue pants that are in the mail that I got from H&M, a white button down shirt, my pink Dior sunglasses. I love pink as I've coached showed you guys before, but pink and blue together, just, amazing so you guys that is it I have tons of things I'm trying not to make my videos so long I will put everything as usual in the description box and if you like the video like comment subscribe share the video and I will see you in my next video